I'm John Perry. I'm 31 years old. I'm from Fontana, California. I'm married. I have three kids, two girls and a boy. Uh, I've been doing CrossFit for about four and a half years. And uh, I'm a deputy sheriff for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Let's get the ballet class, huh? Yeah. Let me run away. What? No, hey, I was just tight. <laughs> I started training at the work gym. I work at the jail. Los Angeles County in uh, downtown. We have a gym there, and one of my coworkers invited me to come try CrossFit with him. He'd been doing it just uh, on his own. I want to say it was burpees, sumo deadlift, high pulls, and push press. Got crushed, absolutely crushed, and never looked back. First CrossFit competition was the 2010 SoCal sectional at UCLA. That was back in the day. <laughs> sectional was basically an open for Southern California. Um, it wasn't the kind of open that you would think of right now where we do our own workouts in our gym. It was a live meet where we came and tried to qualify for regionals. The first two times I competed to get in regionals, um, well the first time was kind of let's just see where I end up. The second time was okay I made it, now I know what I can do, now I know I should be able to get to regionals and I'm training for the next step out. For me, this year is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm, I'm actually considering going on the team because I feel like I've been in the games and I think at the level I'm at, it's only fair that I give other people a chance to experience some that I've been able to experience. Because, um, you know, it's not something that everyone's going to get to do in their lifetime. A very small percentage of people make it to the games, even on a team. I've been fortunate enough to have been to the games two times as an individual and, and that's something that I'll never forget and uh, you know I think we get to a point where we want to give back what we put in and I think uh, there's a lot of people that I've been around this past year or so that deserve what I've been able to experience because they put in the same amount of work that I put in and I really want to make that my best effort for them. I started with Ben Bergeron programming. Uh, did that for about a year. This, about a year, and then up until about this past October 2013, I started doing HyperFit and yeah, Doug Chapman programs. Being with Bergeron programming, that's when I noticed the, the strength that was really going up. He's, he has some excellent barbell programming. I felt for this year, going into the open, that that gas tank needed to be bigger. You know, I needed more of an engine. And I knew I would find that with everything. I don't overhead squat every day. I don't, um, I don't lift every day. Not every day I'm lifting day. Um, I keep it, keep it clean. You know, I like to have the, the, the carbs in there, the rice, and potatoes. But a lot of meat, a lot of tri-tip steaks. Um, still a lot of fruit and veggies. No, I don't even sugar, except cho chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> There's some, I had about five of those last night. Hey, bud. I got a leader. Cool. You got a lizard? All right, where were we? <laughs> My life is, there's no chaos. I mean, it's, it's, it's complete chaos, I feel like. Um, I have a full-time job that I work 40 plus hours at. I have three kids and a wife and a dog. It gets difficult sometimes. But my wife and I have a very good working relationship as far as communicating, knowing where we're going to be at, knowing what we have to get done, helping each other out, you know, being a team and, and working through this together. It's not just about me. Um, the moment that cross is even more important than my family, I should quit. Living life is prescribed to me is just keeping your priorities straight, knowing what's important to you. Um, Loving those who, who need to be loved, your, your family, loving God, and sharing that with everyone else. We come to this gym every day and there's people that look up to me, that want to be like me, that want to be able to work out like me. And I do whatever I can to, to make sure that 
I want people to know that they can reach the same goal that I've reached with hard work. That it's not going to come easy, but that anyone can do it if they just put their mind in it and, and give it everything they have. And that's, you know, with family, with your job, with your friends, with your workouts. That's what living life has prescribed this to me.